Hello, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to connect to MySQL database using PDL uh, from your PHP code. Uh, in, in previous uh, tutorial, video tutorial, I showed you how to use MySQL I procedural and object oriented. Now I'm going to uh, show this on PDO. It's going to be a very simple uh, program that just selects the information from a table and a database we use in last uh, videos as well. Uh, the database name is called SchoolDB, and uh, it has only one table called Students. And if I show you the structure of this table, it consists of ID, uh, auto increment number, name varchar41, student ID uh, nine character long, and active, which identifies if the record is active or not. Uh, default value is one, and I'm using tiny int uh, for this field. Uh, let's go to the steps. Uh, so we want to create a connection to database. And uh, uh, PDO uh, is a bit different from uh, MySQL I. Uh, with PDO, you need to use data source name, uh, DSN. Uh, as long as a database has created a PDO driver, uh, PDO can connect to that database. The advantage of a PDO to the other uh, libraries, like MySQL I, uh, MySQL I procedural or uh, object-oriented is, it can connect to more than one. A database without changing the code. The only part that you change is, is the uh, uh, data source name. So let's get to this. Uh, PDO is uh, a class, so I just have to uh, create an object. So I just go ahead and use the new keyword uh, PDO. And uh, for PDO, I need a few information. Uh, so first, I, as I said, I, I need the DSN or data source name. Uh, which is going to be in a string, start with the driver, in this case, MySQL, uh, the host, since I'm running this locally, uh, is going to be localhost, uh, semicolon ends each uh, pair, uh, key and equal value. Uh, then I need the database name, in our case is school uh, db. So that's for uh, DSN. Uh, I will have a user, uh, since I'm using the uh, local MySQL come with uh, XAMPP, uh, the user is root, uh, password is an empty string. Uh, so just create this for now. So if I just go ahead, and these are the parameters I can add. Uh, so first I add the DSN, I add the user, and uh, I'll add the pass. Now there are some other values you can add pass to the PDO, like for instance in uh, DSN, you can also add the port number if it's different than the default port number to MySQL and the character set. Also, as the last parameter of PDO, you can add certain options to suppress the uh, uh, to suppress the error messages or different type of error message that you want to have in there. Now, uh, the PDO, uh, in order to do the validation or error checking, uh, we simply have to use try and catch. But before I go through that, I just want to go ahead and wire dump uh, the DB connect uh, to see if we get anything back on our browser. So go back here, I just refresh this, so I get an empty array or object. Um, so one thing about the PDO is uh, we need to wrap the whole code inside a try and catch. Uh, try and catch allows us to try a code that might have some issues with, and in case if there is any issue, uh, we can simply catch this in uh, the um, catch section of this code, which I'm doing it right now. I'm catching a general exception in this case. And uh, if anything goes wrong within this block, uh, we'll jump here. The information will be saved in EX, and then simply I can act on that error message. Anyway, uh, let's go to the next one. So validation is done too as well. Uh, so I'm just going to prepare the query. So I just go ahead and say query equal select everything from students. So that is the query that I have. Definitely I'm going to uh, try this query, uh, make sure there is no syntax error. So just copy this, I go back to uh, PHP MyAdmin or MySQL interface and paste this code, run the code, and I'll get the data. There are two records in this table, student one and student two. So go back to the code. Now that I have done this, uh, uh, the next step is whenever um, 
I write my query, definitely I want to run this, right? So one way to run this query is uh, to use the object, in our case dbcon, and call the function call query. So for the query, uh, I can simply pass the query. Now, similar to the other uh, execution of the query in MySQL I, procedural or object oriented, uh, this query will be uh, executed on the server and the result will be somewhere self safe somewhere in the memory and a reference to that location will be returned by this function. So simply I can go ahead and uh, save this thing to another variable called result. Uh, let's go ahead and do our dump on results, see what do we get. Uh, so if I go here, save this, go back here, refresh. <coughs> so. I can see the query string on the result is what we had in the query. So this is the later on if I want to access the query, I can simply do that as well. So I'll go back here. Uh, let me come to this. And uh, what I want to do is now I want to go ahead and, uh, and print this. Uh, so to manage this, meaning printing, so I can simply go ahead and say while uh, row, very similar to what we did with the other ones. Row is equal, uh, we have the result. And we simply go ahead and fetch. Now there are a few ways of doing fetch. We can do object, column, or fetch all, and so on. Uh, so in our case, uh, I just go for the fetch, and I say what, what, what type of uh, record I want to get back. Uh, PDO has some static uh, properties that I can call. In this case, I would just go ahead and have these fetch uh, both associate and so on. I just do both because this gives me a regular array and associative array that I can use. So I'll go ahead and uh, open my while loop. I do echo. Uh, I want to print the name. So name of the student is going to go here. So if I go here, I can say uh, name was. Uh, let me just browse this. Sorry. ID is the first element or first column, name is the second one, right? So I go back here, I can use one here to get the name. Uh, I also want to print the student ID. So in this case, uh, I'm going to use associative array. So I'll go and say uh, dollar sign row, and I will use uh, the column uh, title to access the field in this row, right? So uh, I go ahead and say student underscore ID, which is this field, right? So I have that as well. And definitely I'm going to put a BR so the next record can go to the next line. Um, now, we have to remember uh, there are different ways of doing this. This fetch, uh, always, always uh, select one record at a time. So when it gets to the end of the loop, it goes back, it goes to the memory, look for the next element that result holds and or next row, and then we'll fetch that one from the memory as well. Let's, let's go ahead and save this and uh, see if we get the result we're looking for. So right here, we have all the information we needed. Now, since we're done with this, uh, I simply go ahead and uh, make the DB equal result equal no so uh, just break the link so garbage collection can take these uh, two uh, away from their memory that's all you have to do in order to connect to uh, database using pdo i hope you enjoy the video thank you